Hey movie freaks, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here or you have not yet seen this movie, there will be spoilers. But if that does not bother you, let's go ahead and jump into my review of Into the Dark's Treehouse. So basically what this one is about is celebrity chef uh, Peter Rake uh, tries to escape a recent wave of negative tabloid exposure by moving See, I don't know if he's actually moving or if he's just taking a trip away um, to his family's vacation estate in the woods. But the ghosts of his past are everywhere and debts will be settled. That's what the plot is. So the specs of this movie is, like, as I said before, it is episode 6 of the Into the Dark series and this one's named Treehouse. Sorry. This one's named Treehouse. And it's rated TV Mature. It came out this year, of course. And it runs an hour and 27 minutes. And it's directed and written by James Roday and other people. The cast is Jimmy Simpson, Amanda Walsh, uh, Nancy Lennon, Charles. Julianne Guile, Michael Weston, and Kylie Rogers. So the movie starts out with a woman or young girl having a picnic alone. She looks distraught and defeated. And then it quickly, the scene quickly changes to our main character, TV chef Peter Rake, who's played by Jimmy Simpson. He has a daughter, Riley, played by Kylie Rogers, who basically he takes for granted. He doesn't really pay much to attention to. And his ex-wife is about to get married and declines his daughter's invitation to accompany her to said wedding. So he can get away. Now he ends up in his family's estate with sister Gwen played by Amanda Walsh but she soon has to leave an emergency for her work leaving him alone in this huge mansion with I'm not sure if she's a maid or a housekeeper or a cook whatever she is um, her name's Agnes and she is played by Nancy Lennon uh, Charles so He's, after that, he starts seeing random things like a bunch of bugs in the silverware drawer, which he cleans up real quick. And as I said before, Agnes, she seems off from the beginning. He also meets the neighbor, Kara, played by Juliana Guile. I'm not sure if I said that right. but And so the show begins after that. So... This episode looked promising from the trailer. It looked really good because there was one scary part where something in a mask, it was completely like scary at the door. And that's the only part that caught my interest. So I was highly let down by this movie. The acting from everyone was mediocre. I found myself forced to finish forced to finish it for the sole fact of the review. Uh, I was just bored through the majority of the film and when there was action it was pointless and very confusing. Um, I really don't know how to begin to explain this movie. It was just all over the place. The only thing that I think I liked was the soundtrack and the cinemato cinematography. I liked how they used the drones in some parts. So, Peter is sarcastic in the movie, but comes off annoying and overplayed. It does have an interesting twist, but still confusing. The ending is just psycho. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's completely irrelevant from the beginning of the film, and I don't know. I just. I didn't like it at all. I I just basically, 
forced myself to finish it so I could do this review because of my series that I'm doing. So, I don't know, with all of that being said, I give Into the Darks episode 6 Treehouse, one treehouse. That is the lowest rated on my channel out of all of the movies that I've reviewed. So don't waste your time. I don't think it is worth the watch. I mean, you are more than welcome to watch it, but it was just a storm of things that were irrelevant, like they things they were talking about when his sister and him were sitting down at the table before she left were just confusing. Like I just thought they misplaced things and they it was just not a good film it was not good at all and I and I thought it would be really good based on the trailer but for some reason it just wasn't it revolves around so spoiler coming up here it revolves around what his sister thinks that he did to her best friend which is the girl in the beginning of the movie so, it's just, I mean, that's the only thing that's consistent in the film. And I don't know if they played that off in the right way. So, like I said, with all that being said, I only give it one treehouse. I just didn't think it was worth the watch. And I'm actually, I hate to say this, but it was an hour and 27 minutes too long. Like, I just... I don't know. I didn't like it at all. I just thought it was a horrible film. Um, my husband and I watched it together and he was just like, what is going on? And I didn't even know how to explain, him to explain it to him, even though that's basically my job is to explain movies to people, but and that's what I love doing. But I didn't even know how to explain this movie. Like, it was just all over the place. So... <laughs> that is it for my review of Treehouse. The movie that I'm most excited to see is The Dead Don't Die. It is out now. And I think it's kind of like a zombie um, comedy, I think. A zombity, if you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so that is it for my review. If you guys like this review, make sure to give a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed, you can do that just by clicking on the icon up here. And also, I'll set up a playlist for you to watch over on this side. You can just check those out and um, see which, whatever one you like and give a thumbs up. So I'll see you guys in my next review. Bye.